This week, nude photos of several celebrities were leaked onto the internet after their iCloud accounts were compromised. Jesse, is cloud computing all it's cracked up to be? Well, uh, not if you're Jennifer Lawrence. <laughs> or Kate Upton. Or Kirsten Dunst. Right. And right. It, you know, the list goes on of young, mostly female celebrities who had their accounts hacked. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's a bad situation for sure, right? Uh, uh, what we found out was that these accounts were not hacked in the traditional way, right? There wasn't a kind of an unauthorized uh, backdoor situation. No, Apple put out a statement saying right. everything was on the up and up on the, as terms of their systems. It was their personal information that was used, just like you know our passwords, our, our nickname as a child, those kinds of things. Boom, right in there, and they shared those photos. Right, and here's why I think that we're talking about it so much, because we are. The internet is abuzz with this topic. <laughs> it, it's not because it matters that much for consumers. I mean, you and I, the iCloud and other services like it, they're so easy for us that we'll probably still continue to put our information in the cloud. That's right. Um, but where it gets dicey is, of course, businesses, like mm -hmm. the Fortune 500 companies we cover, because they can't afford to take a chance. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you agree. I do agree. I mean, you look at these companies, you know, there are several major companies, tech companies that offer clouds, right? Apple is certainly one, Google is another. Yep. And if you're a business, you're thinking, do I want to store my sensitive information there in the cloud? It's, it's crazy. When cloud computing first came around, right. everybody was terrified about it. Why would I want to put my business information up there on somebody else's server somewhere else in the world? Right. I'd rather have it in here, in the basement, under lock and key. They were not having it, but as this stuff has become more pervasive, we just don't think about it anymore. And the challenge also for companies is that even if the company decides to maintain uh, priority over its own data, right. um, the employees are using these services anyways. I That's mean, right. I don't want to put you on the spot, so I won't ask you if you've ever used the Google Doc instead of the software that Time Inc. prepares. I, my lips um, are sealed, never. But you know, there are some people, in fact, a lot of people who do that. Yeah. And that's putting corporate data at risk. And I think businesses are going to respond to events like this. And frankly, I mean, this is a particularly public event because there's mm -hmm. celebrities involved, but mm -hmm. these kinds of events happen once a quarter or so. Every time they do, it's a flag to businesses to slow down, evaluate the service, and see whether it's working. And in previous years, they would have just said, no cloud computing, no way, no how. But now, we look at this and we go, well, can we trust it? How, what's the difference between an iCloud breach and some nude photos of some actresses and a really, really major Amazon Web Services breach? that gives up the goods to, to customers around the globe. It's scary. How do you know which one to trust? Are all clouds built the same? And that is why this matters so much. Right. Fair point. For one show you can always trust, come to fortune.com for more tech debate.